employees and customers alike. As the story of an 83-year-old Home Depot employee passing away weeks after coming into contact with a shoplifter suspected of being part of one of these networks made painfully clear. And it seems Walmart has already started taking steps to remedy their losses as the company has begun closing stores. It's kind of crazy. You don't hear of things like Walmart closing. Walmart. And as former customers mourn the loss of the chain's bargain deals. This is a big hit to the community because, I mean, Walmart have great prices, honestly. Those two were disappearing. TikToker Amy Way to Save is known. So let me rewind it back, y'all. Hold up. Rewind it back. It's, it's all, it's all street. This is all street theater. This is all, this is all gang stalking Antifa. Now listen to what the dudes say. It's made going to fold because of an unscanned item from time to time. Well, this may be true if shoplifting were just a minor issue for the company. However, the level of theft that Walmart has recently been hit with isn't just small. Now you see all these people, these are all Antifa. You see they got the face masks on. <laughs> I mean, they all bots, yo. Potatoes. It's a full-blown epidemic. In December 2022, the retailers see... He's the president CEO. Doug McMillan. CEO Doug McMillan told CNBC that the latest uptick in shoplifting would require. And you already know. You already know. Look, you already know this dude. He's the CEO of Walmart. You already know Walmart Illuminati. So you already know he's a, he's a he's a Illuminati puppet. You know what I'm saying? Drastic action if law enforcement continued to exercise leniency on these crimes. If that's not corrected over time, prices will be higher right. and or stores will close. On these crimes. If that's not corrected over time, prices will be higher right. and or stores will close. On these crimes. If that's not corrected over time, prices will be higher right. and or stores will close. However, raising prices. Now you, you heard what he just said. Walmart may raise prices and close stores. So this is this is the reason why the Walmart's the stores is closed. They send in the Antifa gang gang stalkers to run up and steal. They got they got the masses, the sheeple dumb motherfuckers that don't know what's going on. Oh, what's going on? What's going on? Why the Walmart's is closing? Because everybody's stealing, everybody's stealing, but they don't even know. They don't know they, they don't they fail to realize that this is all being done. And orchestrated by your fucking sinister ass government. It's all this is just a cesspool. That's all that's that, that's it. Or diminishing access wouldn't punish unpaying customers, but those who rely on the discounted merchandise Walmart is known for. Everything's gone up. Gasoline and taxes and food. In see see that lady right there? This lady right there? She she either a bot or she probably just some sheep lady that just have no clue what's going on. She don't even know. She, I guess, I guarantee, she probably run to the polls and still vote, believing in the system. Everything's gone up: gasoline and taxes and food. In the world of retail, the term for what's happening is shrinkage, when the items available in store are fewer than what's in inventory. In 2022, the National Retail Federation reported the average shrink rate across retailers was 1.4%. That's $94.5 billion in losses, almost $4 billion more than the previous year. Fox News correspondent Stuart Varney cited this recent upswing in shoplifting as a cultural shift in the way the American people viewed theft. You see this? Walmart made high prices such stores due to theft. See, that's bullshit, yo. You see what I'm saying? This is a psyops, man. But I can't go outside without a, a thousand cars following me. I'm in the crib. They know my thoughts. They know what I'm great to do. They know I'm about to take a shower, take a shit, go to sleep, wake up, and fucking crazy dreams. They all in my world. But you mean to tell me you can't stop people from stealing at Walmart? Man, get the fuck out of here, man. I'm trying to tell you, man, I'm so sick of this goddamn world. Man, this world is just, it's just so, it's just so stupid, the shit that goes on, man. As not a crime, but a reclamation of what they were entitled to. If this is the new morality, you can count me out. However, his view on legislation. It's okay to take up to 950 bucks worth of necessities in California. Look, look, look at <laughs> all these, look at all these cats breaking inside the stores. Ain't no gang. You look, look, you, you might add, you might wonder, well, where are the community-based agents? Where the gang stalkers at? They right here. They right here. This is where they at. 
This is where they are. That's, that's the reason you be like, you be like, man, where the community-based agents at? How come they're not there to watch the crime? Because they right here. That's why the community-based agents are the ones committing the crime. That's just an invitation to steal. Wasn't entirely accurate. For example, in California, shoplifting goods worth less than $950 is a misdemeanor, whereas stealing merchandise worth over that amount is classified as a felony. And according to some alleged ex-employees of big retailers, some locations are watching you more closely than others for a really long time. They will continue letting you steal all the while they're documenting the value amount of every single item that you're stealing and they will wait. They wait until you're thousands and thousands of dollars worth in debt. You know, federal crime level. In jail behind bars. They will do anything to do that. However, this doesn't mean there aren't consequences to petty theft. Both a misdemeanor and a felony can result in jail time. For a misdemeanor, this can be up to 364 days behind bars. And for a felony, this can be three years. And while it would be impossible for law enforcement to prosecute every instance of petty theft, police presence was up 22 holidays. Law enforcement to prosecute this can be three years. And while it would be impossible for law enforcement to prosecute every instance of petty theft, police presence was up at Walmart locations in California to deter theft during the 2020 police presence was up yeah right you believe that shit if you want to the cops is the one sending the bastard to go do the dirt two holiday season for thieves the message is that we'll be out there we're gonna be vigilant we know it's at time of the season which a lot of shoppers are out there um, but we're gonna be out there as well but while the case of a 17 year old dressed as and, and you can't you can't even go to a damn you can't go to the damn corner store without thousands of clowns following you. Red and white cars, black cars chasing you down. But they can't seem to stop these petty thefts that's going on in these Walmarts. And they talking about, oh, we either going we either gonna have to raise the prices or we gotta shut the stores down. Man, this is a psyops like a motherfucker, man. The world's a cesspool. Everything is fake. Everything is bullshit. And if you don't see that by now, then I don't know what the fuck is wrong with you. If their mark on the retail business, loan perpetrators are rarely the problem. The increase mark on the retail business, loan perpetrators are rarely the problem. The increase mark on the retail business, loan perpetrators are. Now look at this. Look at this. He even got red on, so you know he's a bot. They up in this store, look like some type of purse, might be Prada bags or something. Then they're snatching and grabbing. No cops riding past. No state troopers. No security guards. No nothing. Because it's all staged. It's all fake. We all live in the damn Truman Show. And that's why I keep telling y'all. You must examine everything. Because these same motherfuckers that's doing this. That's orchestrating this. They, they're the same motherfuckers that gave you everything. I'm talking about your education. Your religious belief systems. Every fucking thing. Your history. They're the same people that told you Christopher Columbus discovered America. They're the same people that have been lying, lying, and lying. So you got to you got to examine everything. And if you don't examine it, then you're just going to be a fool. And you might just still, you're going to be continuing to popping blue fucking pills. The problem. The increase is in organized retail theft when perpetrators are rarely the problem. The increase is in organized retail theft when a large group goes into a store to take a lot of merchandise all at once. And now you hear how he just told you the truth. You hear how this dude right here just told you the truth. I'm gonna play it one more time for the slow motherfuckers in the back. Own perpetrators are rarely the problem. The increase is in organized retail theft when a large group goes into a store to take a lot of merchandise. All the the key word is what? Organize. Organize. Now, since when do you know the masses can be organized? The masses can't be organized without not not on their own. In order for the masses to be organized. They need somebody to organize them. They need somebody to map out the situation. That's why it's called organized crime and shit like that. Because when it's, when it, when things are organized, it's being orchestrated by a so-called power that be. You see what I'm saying? As you can see, you look at the people today, ain't no organization going on. 
ain't nothing organized about these sheeps out here. So they need they need the the beast to organize them to go ahead and do this shit. So he's telling you only a, a small percentage of what's really going on. Yeah, he's right about the organized part, but he's not telling you that it's the hand that rocks the cradle that's controlling the motherfucking crime scenes right here. Ness. Loan perpetrators are rarely the problem. The increase is in organized retail theft when a large group goes into a store to take a lot of merchandise all at once and leave in a hurry. And that's happening at stores like Walmart. Organized crime networks were responsible for the billions of losses retailers suffered in 2022. And with these thieves increasingly threatening or resorting to violence, they've become a danger to employees and customers alike. As the story of an eight... 83-year-old Home Depot employees and customers alike. As the story of an 83-year-old Home Depot employee passing away weeks after coming into contact with a shoplifter suspected of being part of one of these networks made painfully clear. And it seems Walmart has already started taking steps to remedy their losses as the company has begun closing stores. It's kind of crazy. You don't hear things. So there you have it, y'all. This is the reason why the stores is closing. It's a psyops. It's a conspiracy. It's a plot. The word conspiracy means it's a plot. It's a suspicious plot that's being orchestrated by the powers that be. It's not a theory. It is a conspiracy, but it's not a theory. Okay, don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Holla back, man. Gang Stalking Simulation. The best channel on YouTube. Play a play out.